So we successfully saved our data onto our backend, but I made a little typo. You can see we have phone number and picture same because here I wrote uh, request body dot picture and here request body dot picture, right? So instead here I should write phone, right? P H O N E phone. Okay. Now let's create a route for uh, let's say um, uh, update. Or maybe delete yeah first let's delete right uh, let's delete this record which we currently saved right okay now what we can do is we can again create a post route right app dot post because we will be sending the particular id from our react native side and we'll delete the record with the which have that particular id right okay so let's uh, write uh, make a delete route so let's name it as delete and in here we will receive request and response and for now what we can do is we can use this model right to delete and in model i think we have find by yeah we have find by id and remove now just we need all we need is to just pass an id to this right it is saying that this is equivalent to find one and remove so in find one remove we also we can use also find one and remove and we can just pass this id to id or we can use find id and simply just pass whatever uh, uh, record we want to delete right by just passing this id now suppose we will pass this id right right there so this record will get deleted right okay so just that id we will receive from request uh, request dot body dot id we will receive it from here and in here uh, what we can do is uh, this is what all we need right huh i guess this is all what all we need now we can just chain on then and i think this will return us what data is deleted so i think yeah just for that for now let's console dot log uh, uh, let's say what data i think what data is deleted it, it returns us and we can just s dot send a message that deleted right yeah and i can just copy the sketch block control c and just chain on that right yeah so let's copy the id which we have it here right control c uh yeah uh did i copy it correctly control c okay and what we can do is go to uh just open the postman app scroll down can i command this for a moment no there is no comment option press ctrl z or oh, is there yeah there is option of commenting so let's comment this all for now uh, what it is showing bad string oh i can't do comment yeah just, just copy this or yeah just copy this what we have ctrl c uh, and paste it somewhere right because i don't want to uh, type it again and again so i will what i will do i will paste it somewhere here right okay now let me copy that id again uh yeah just let me copy this id again Control c right and go to this postman uh click here on raw just one now what we will do is just pass the id we will just pass id and this will be inside string and here Control v just get rid of this comma and here also we will put a quotes right yeah and that will be a post request uh to 3000 slash de -E -E delete yeah this one right so let's send this right and if we go here we got error cannot post delete uh, why is it a case uh let's say if we got something on console so yeah nothing has been logged uh, i haven't saved this file so let's save this file i think this might be the error now let's do one more try so now let's send this and if we scroll here yeah we here we got deleted and let's see what we got in this log so we got null here uh, why we got null maybe i have made some kind of typo in here delete request or deleted id we got null in the data well, how is this possible uh, 
let me just go to this mongodb and let's see if our record is deleted no it didn't work and i think i have deleted it with the wrong id let's say let's see what id is this oh i think i selected this uh, uh this uh, unfortunately and the, the, uh, my header got changed to application dot this right again change back to json yeah and let's try this one more time let's click send we got deleted let's see onto our console yeah so it is returning us whatever data it, it is deleted right and now we can just hit a uh, refresh here and now see our uh, our data is now deleted yeah we have this query result here right so this was an awesome stuff now let's see how we can update right how we can update the record right okay so deletion is working perfect right so just go here and let's uncomment this and let's copy or what we have or we can just control x or what we will do we will insert two more one or two records and we'll update particular record right uh, for let's create the uh, that route for now and then we will do this for now just paste this here and comment that out yeah let's create the po that update route uh, app dot post we'll post the id which we want to update we'll update the record with the id right here as well so we will just send the uh, employee id and by id we will update everything right so let's here write update route up uh, dat and here we will receive a callback and here we can write request comma response and uh, let's say uh, we can use this employee model and here we have i think find by id and update yeah this one right here also we can just what we need is to pass the id right we will pass that id from our react native app and uh, whatever uh, and we will search in our records that particular employee with that id and then we can will update that in uh, uh, that employee right which have those id which i sent from the react native app right if id matches in that record we will employ uh, we will update only that particular employee Right, so we'll we'll send the ID from our React Native side. Right, okay. So uh, what we need is we just need to pass this requested ID, Control C, and in here Control V. And now in second option, I need I think we need to pass what all fields we want to update. Now I think we uh, want to update everything, right? Yeah, because we will be navigating user to a edit screen, and then user can edit the data. I think. From that from that screen we will post everything right so just copy this control C and uh, yeah paste it over here we'll update everything right and I think now here we I can use then and and then I can get a data and I can console dot log that out and I can just copy this then block control C and just paste it over here right like so and i think that is pretty much pretty much it and i can just here console log and then after that i can just send uh send uh let's say delete deleted right okay ha huh, for now this is enough i guess uh yeah so let's test now everything right we will post uh, we'll create uh, two or three records and then we'll update a particular record let's see now let's copy this control or oh, let's uncomment this first uncomment this and let's control c and let's go to our send data route right here and just get rid of this and just paste what we have here now let's change the name let's change the name to R-A-M-E-S-H Ramesh now let's click on this send button if we see here uh, sending request uh, it is hanging up I think we got some kind of error I think uh, maybe we haven't saved a file let's save it out right and let's try it one more time we should cancel that request and we can just 
hit send and why it is hanging up uh, just gonna cancel this up I have made some mistake I think let's check what route is yeah we have the send data route the route is correct now why this request is hanging up let's do uh, let's see our server is also work, working fine let's send it I don't know why it is not working just cancel this up I need to figure it out why is that this is happening so let's check on to the mongodb if it is saved uh yeah I think this person is already saved or maybe let's delete this person I think our request is working right but why then we were not getting response back let's again send this and it is hanging up I don't know why it is hanging up let's see we don't get anything on the console but if you go to this mongodb and if we refresh it I think data is saving uh, let's see no it is not let's hit refresh again no nope so let's kill our server and start it one more time I think that should be the okay so we are getting uh, some error in app.js let's see what error it is yeah that that is why it was not working yeah okay yeah my bad <laughs> I wasted too much time in it okay I think this should work now right okay so now let's send this and uh, yeah we got success right uh, we can see on our console we are getting this logged with ID and if we can save this uh, we can just hit refresh here and then we can see what all data is being saved right yeah let's now let's save one more person right we can say uh, let's say Suresh S-U-R-E-S-H these are both brother they come in five star ad right remember <laughs> so let's save this send this request as well we got success we can see this uh, here uh, Ramesh Ramesh we have two times Ramesh oh, how is that let's refresh it yeah now we have I think Suresh as well right yeah so let's delete one Ramesh or maybe just leave that what we will do is we'll just uh, search for the Suresh with which has this ID now let's copy this Suresh ID right and we will try to update update this Suresh right control C right and now let's uh, go to our this and what we can do is just remove all those stuff right and here we will just give ID and that will be control V and let's write in a, it in a string as this is complaining right okay yeah and it will be a, a sent to upda update right uh, let's say let's see check again what route we created uh, that is update upda okay the route is perfect and from that we are sending this id and uh, we are sending this id but oh just press ctrl z uh, along with ID we want to send all the data we want to up update right so here we can just put ID and here control V along with the ID also we need to send all the data which we want to update right and now let's say the record with the ID I want to change the name of Suresh to Suresh Verma Ver Verma and we ERMA and I want to change the phone number to let's say 678 right and now let's send this right it is sending and uh, here we can see deleted uh, why it is showing deleted now let, let's go to uh, here and just refresh it if Suresh is being updated let's see uh, yeah Suresh is being updated to Suresh Verma it has phone number is updated to 678 right awesome now let's see why it is showing us deleted because we have wrote deleted here right yeah uh, yeah so just here what we can do is let's see what kind of data we are getting in, in here so when we update we are getting the updated record right and when we are deleting we are getting a deleted record 
so what we can do is instead of just sending latent update we can send whatever data we are receiving right right awesome all right so that we can use the data on the react native side if we want to use it suppose uh, we want to delete delete suresh so we can make an alert on to react native side that suresh is successfully deleted right okay so we can just send instead of this deleted we can just send whatever data we are receiving right data 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 and here as well right and data like so now the one route is left that is get route we want to fetch all the employees in our record right and how we can do that and that is very simple let's do this in this this video itself so let's create a get route right so this is let's create our get route we have this default route so let's change this so now we want what we want is to when users uh, go to this route we should be uh, we should be able to send back all the employees we have in our database right okay so for that what we can do is we can use our model uh, let's say where is our model what was the name of model employee yeah employee and here we can just use find right yeah find and here we can just find everything so we'll just pass empty this right empty brackets and then let's say let's see if this works or not then and then we can just receive data and let's for now console.log log or we can just send back what data we are receiving press dot send uh, dot send data right and we can just get rid of this and if we got some error let's copy this sketch block control c and we'll log that error control v like so yeah so i think save it out and let's see onto the postman we'll make a get request and we'll make this simple get request on the slash route right and we don't need body now right we don't need body yeah because this is a get request let's send this up and let's see what we get in here right okay so we got all we got an array with all the records it has right it has all the details of what we need okay you can see this right it has ramesh it has ramesh two records and it, it has suresh right okay so i think we are done with our backend now in next video we will just wire up react native and just node.js together right so it will be a lot of fun so let's catch you up guys in the very next video